I think I took a shit in my neighbor's uh, lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I love you, Matty Dean, and I need you, Matty Dean. Why did you leave me here without your love? Oh, bro, I'm hurting. Take the polo out, dude. Yeah. Fuck whoa. with me, bro. Oh, dude. I got coffee on me. Fuck. Fuck. It's all right, dude. It's all right. Stay strong out there, man. Yeah. You look like you just came from Fort Lauderdale. Really? Yeah, actually. I mean, that's better than like what most people have been telling me. Yeah. What did they <coughs> tell you? Someone told me I look like a lesbian the other day, <laughs> which is like kind of fucked up, but I was like, all right. Dude. You know. Dude, lesbians are taking over. You think so? I think so. I think they're having a comeback. I think we're all realizing, yeah, that like we should have just, I don't like we should trust them more. You know? You think so? I think so. I feel like they've been just like in the shadows for a long time. Like when I I used to never see lesbians out, and yeah. now I see them all the time, and I love it. Yeah, yeah, they used to be hard to spot. Now you can just go to like a supercuts or something. Yeah. They're right there. You Dude. Know? <laughs> like, they're right there. Yeah. And now I just love when guys are getting compared to lesbians. It's the funniest thing ever. Wow. Fuck, man. A butch it, like you look like a guy like a guy. <laughs> you know, like you look like a fucking dude. You're like That's what I want to look like, man. Yeah. You know? And you and somehow someone still thinks you look like a lesbian. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, it, it honestly, like, I wanted to laugh, but it yeah. kind of hurt a little bit, Yeah, which I'm upset with myself about, you know, because it's like, <laughs> dude, you should... I'm upset with myself. It's like, dude, you should, you know, take that as a compliment, dude, because yeah. lesbians all are fucking crushing it, dude. Dude, and they're, like, they're reliable, especially, I feel like, I don't know one personally, not yeah. like, I, I know a couple lesbians, but not, you know, I would say, like, a butch lesbian, yeah. or I don't know what the the lesbian term for like a bear is you know like how a, a gay guy that's like a really big girly. like a husky yeah yeah, like a trailblazer like, i think that's what they call him trailblazer <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. i think uh, yeah like a a bear but like a woman like, like i a, feel like like your lesbian would live in like um alaska like off the land yeah you know? just do like ice fishing and shit mm -hmm. yeah i would definitely be like a manlier lesbian you yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you can, you just couldn't go the other way. It would be very hard for you to transition. Yeah, it would be point. the only way I would be able to hang on. <laughs> you know, because I feel like you reach some turbulence when you're a lesbian, where you're like, dude, should I just, you know, can I keep doing this? Mm -hmm. And I feel like you have to rely on that. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, you have to. I mean, you can't. I mean, I'm sure you can turn back at any point and decide to be straight, but everyone's into something yeah you know yeah i mean if you turn back though it's almost like who am i who, you know yeah who are you Can you really want to live you? the rest of your life asking yourself that dude <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i would um it, i think it would be pretty but i i've i've known a couple people that have it's it's similar to just coming out as gay like late in life i, yeah. I know a couple people who have come out as gay like past 30 were you there when it happened or i wasn't there i've just it, it's like my friends <clears throat> like close cousin or like stuff yeah, yeah. like that they just realize like they've been gay their whole life yeah, yeah. wow in 2023 i think it's really interesting because it's yeah. like now's the time it is a good time dude the parades look fun like the parades look fun you know i feel like the policies are in place i don't know any of the policies but they feel like they're in place <laughs> yeah. you know like i feel yeah, it deep the down. vibe of the policies the vibe is there, are dude. in yeah. place yeah and like you know man i feel but like everyone asks themselves that every once in a while you know like am i check gay? in like a little check-in well like dudes in general like they'll do a few tests you know to just see if they're gay <laughs> like what <clears throat> i mean dude you want you you could finger your butt in the shower okay that usually happens on earlier in life you know you're just i'm just gonna see what this feels like this is good see what's know. going on okay. take notes on this okay yeah yeah uh watch broke back mountain which is like okay i'm sorry that's a great movie it is a good movie and it's a hot movie 
Dude, yeah. I, I saw two gay guys yesterday. They're hardcore making out, like, right in front of the subway station. Yeah. And I couldn't help but say, ha, da, 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 da. Like, wow. it, they, it was so, I think two guys making out is so hot. Were they, like, using tongue or just, like? They were hardcore making a tongue and everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I And I thought of Brokeback Mountain. I was like, take me back. Yeah. I got to watch it again. <laughs> I watched the whole movie, dude. How I just times? couldn't. Uh, I just couldn't get hard, bro. You know, that's good. When they're in the tent, because well, that's the true test. You know what I mean? It's not good, but if you want to be straight, that's good. For mm, if you want yeah, to I just wanted to see. You know, like yeah. let Mother Nature take its course. Yeah. And I just felt like that was like the perfect test. Totally. You know, because Jake Gyllenhaal, dude, like banger. Oh my god, dude, such a good looking dude. You know, so like so much to write home about. You know, it's like if there's any test that you need to go through. You know, like, and Heath Ledger. I mean, he's always been like one of the hot, if not like my the most like person I've had a crush on since the beginning mm. of time. I just yeah. thought he was like the perfect guy. <laughs> Dude, I've, you're not wrong. D- not yeah. wrong. He's so fucking hot. Yeah. Why do hot people have to die? I don't know, man. It I should feel be like illegal. I'm just saying. I feel like that is, you know, I think they die so that people can remember them just for, like, you know, who they were. Because if they grow old, it's kind of like you're almost forgotten. But if you die at a, a young age, I think about that sometimes. Yeah. Like, going out early, it just seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah. You know? Because then you're a legend. Yeah. yeah. You're handed down for generations. And it's like, dude, I, you know, I lived a good life. Like. Yeah. I guess it's, like, the potential that people get obsessed with, like, especially, yeah. like, Marilyn Monroe, especially if you, like, like do some shit, get into some stuff, and, like, keep a lot of stuff secret. Yeah. Leave some mysteries to be mm. unsolved. You're in. You got a Netflix yeah. document. Once you reach a certain age, it's like, dude, let's spice some shit up. You know, let's start a few forest fires. Yeah. Let's fucking, <laughs> yeah. let's launder some money. Let's yeah. get into it. Yeah, you get know? into it. Because when you're young, dude, like, you can have sex and, like, drink and do crazy yeah. shit. But when you're older and that stuff goes away, it's like, yo, I need something, bro. I know. You know? That's the thing. Yeah. It's like, when you're young, partying was so fun. Oh, dude. It was the UV blue. I used to drink UV blue. And wow. I was like, this is what life yeah. is, dude. Dude, fucking party like a rock star comes yeah. on, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, and dude. you're like projectile vomiting like oh my God. like liquid blue <laughs> like it, it looks like the a fucking lagoon in the toilet it's so cool were you like a big like do you throw up a lot i i <laughs> used i used to drink so fucking much i used Same to like dude. yeah yeah was your personality like drunk guy <sighs> i mean i think that was everyone's yeah. at the time you know like there was a setting you know when did you start drinking Maybe, like, junior year of high school. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember the first time I drank. I almost broke my neck on a swing set, dude. And then I shit my fucking pants. Dude. <laughs> like, the same night? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> you were afraid, or? I just, like, took a few shots of vodka. It was my first time drinking out of, like, a Gatorade bottle. And then we went to this elementary school, and we were hanging out on the playground. Perfect. And I was on this swing, and I just fell on my back and, like, fucking landed on my neck. And everyone was like, yo. Oh, no. And I got up. Like, I didn't feel anything. And everyone was like, fuck, yeah. Like, and then I shit my pants, dude, because. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone was like, no. (laughs) Dude, because I was, like, I was just trying to be funny. You know, like, when you're, like, one of those moods where you're just reckless. Yeah. And I, like, went to fart, dude. Like, uh, aggressively fart, and I just, dude, I shit my pants bad, bro. Wow. And I, I remember going in the woods, and I just, like, cleaned up with my boxers and just free-balled it for the rest of the night, man. Did people know you shat your pants? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they knew. Dude. Everyone. It was very, it was very obvious. Everyone in yeah. the school district knew. But wow. at least I, like, kept going, dude, you know? Like, the boot and rally is what it's all about at that age. Like, you don't just give up, dude. You don't, yeah, you know? yeah. People, I mean, people just never forget that. Did they? Did you get a lot of shit for it later? Or <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> that was like your your whole legacy. Yeah. From <laughs> that weekend on, every weekend, people were like, "Dude, we need to drink again. Like, we need to run it back." And I was like, "Dude, I'm still like recovering from this emotionally, like you know." <laughs> but there wow. was a kid who, 
there was this fat kid I grew up with, and he was so funny. Like, do you know those people where, like, you just see their face and you just, like, cannot stop laughing? Like, they don't have to say yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always, like, a, in, like, so a silly funny. mood around them. Mm-hmm. Like, he was one of those. Because he had, like, a double chin and, like, tits and stuff. Yeah. And he was he was always making sounds and yeah. stuff. And I was like, I need this kid around, like, yeah. all the time. And we were, like, walking down the road one day, just, ha- like, casually hanging out. And he was in, like, a silly mood. And he stood up on this tree stump, dude, and he started singing the national anthem. Mm-hmm. And then he went to fart, <laughs> like, hard and, like, shit his pants. Oh and, like, God. everyone saw it. And we were all, Did like, he, like crum- crawl out? Yeah, you could see the shit dripping down his leg. So I'm, like, bent over laughing. Like, oh my, my organs God. are, like, failing, dude. Like, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm like, dude, that is so fucking funny. Because there was, like, girls around us, too. <laughs> Oh my and, God! Uh, I was like, "Listen, man, like I've been here before. Like, dude, clean up." With your- <laughs> I've been here before. <laughs> You're his fucking shit, mentor. I was like, "Dude, I know what to do." You know what I mean? <laughs> I like, Let me take you to the woods. <laughs> That's what I told him. I was like, dude, we're going to go in the woods, man. Like, <laughs> you're going to clean up with your boxers, and you're going to free ball it, dude, and you're just going to forget this never happened, bro. And he goes, nah, dude, I'm calling my dad. <laughs> and I was like, dude, do not call your dad. Like, please don't call your dad. And he was like, dude, I'm just going to call my dad, and I'm going to go home. And I was like, bro. So he called his dad, and his dad came to pick him up. And to this day, I just think about, like, that car ride. Because like, he, he didn't, he didn't he... clean up at all. Oh, <laughs> What? Like, can you imagine your son? That's insane. Oh, no, dude. that's he should have at least cleaned up. Then you get in the car. Yeah, at least a little bit, dude. Dude, you know? his dad, his dad must have been so livid. upset, dude. You like, know, why did I have line, this like disown kid. you? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. If I was his dad, I would be like, dude, fucking boot and rally, man. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, boot and rally. He just man. gave up like right away. I'm like, dude, come on, man. You can't give up. That's what we were telling him, man. Like, dude, never give up. Never like, give up. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, dude, that was... Uh, so you, like, wouldn't throw up a lot? You were just kind of like... No, so I would throw up, and then in in college, I had, like, a stint where I'd, like, black out and, like, piss my bed. Wow. Like, all the time. Because okay. it's, like... I heard somewhere that, like, if you black out, you either throw up or you... Like, if you... Because you're, like... You technically have like alcohol poisoning and yeah. so it has to come out somehow and like whatever path you choose will be the path taken. Okay. So your body is just like, okay, we chose peeing the bed once, so we're gonna choose it all the time. Yeah. Wow. So I just would piss my bed all the time <laughs> and black out and like be like, All right, time for another day. This was like in a dorm room? Yeah, wow. yeah. How yeah. did your roommates feel like? I mean, it was all right. I would have to just <laughs> I, I did a lot of laundry. I did yeah, a lot yeah. of laundry. Yeah. And um, one time I fell asleep on the floor and then I pissed the floor. And dude, one time, dude, one time. I, cause I grew up um, like 30 minutes from Wisconsin. Okay. Um, and so we would go to Wisconsin a lot. And uh, there's like a country music festival there mm-hmm. called Country Thunder. And we would go. We drink moonshine. We get blacked. It was so fun. Holy shit. But like you, you camp out like, like in your friends' cars in this like huge field. It's yeah. it's awesome. But one time, one year, I got so blacked out that I somehow broke into a stranger's truck. Wow! I woke up and I pissed myself <laughs> in this stranger's truck, and I was just like, "How did I even get in here?" <laughs> pretty impressive <laughs> i was like giving myself props and i was like oh no i pissed myself i like tried to clean it up as much as i could but yeah. um that was i was like i think this will have to end yeah. eventually dude that's legend status though yeah I, th- I always wanted to be that dude who would piss himself i just like i don't know man it takes so much focus for me to pee in general you know yeah you yeah. want to piss yourself? I don't know. Like back then, like yeah. I, w- I was like the thrower up type of guy. Oh yeah. Um, if I got like really messed up, I yeah. would never do in front of people, but <clears throat> I would see like dudes who would like hook up with chicks, and then they would piss the bed, and everyone would be like, "Yo, that is our king, dude. That's our boy." <laughs> you know. <laughs> That's a guy we're proud of. Yeah. 
Because he wow. would wake up in the morning and you would just see the piss stain and he would just be like, fuck, dude. Yeah. And everyone would be like, yo, dude, you hooked up with Becky last night, bro. Everyone would like give him a fist bump, like make fun of him for pissing his pants. But he would still be a legend. When you throw up, everyone's like, dude, you fucking pussy. Yeah. You know? And so it's, it's gross. Like, I think it is grosser throwing <laughs> up. <laughs> is grosser. Dude, I saw the craziest thing once. I was at like a Project X style party. Mm -hmm. To this day, it is like the best party. Where I've was been. it? It was at this rich girl's house in high school. And uh, her parents were home. And her house <laughs> was just massive. And it was in the middle of the woods. So it was like oh there was nobody, God. no noise complaints, anything like that, dude. And her basement was so big, dude. It was just like massive. And like half the high school was there. And I saw this kid who I knew. <laughs> He's on the couch, and he's, like, drinking. I don't think he knew he was drinking by himself. Like, he's just gone, dude. Mm -hmm. And there are, like, ten of the hottest chicks I've ever seen in my life in front of him, like, gossiping, like, talking and stuff. And he, <laughs> he throws up, like, projectile vomits on the floor, and then he starts picking it up. And he's, like, trying to hide it from them oh. while, dude, while looking at them. Dude, I was watching the whole thing. It was so funny to watch. Like it was like it was like National Geographic type oh, like entertainment. He ew. was like, no. no. And I was like, dude. Don't look at this. Yeah, he's like, please. no one saw anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invisible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta respect that commitment, dude. dude to just that's you know. So funny. That's so disgusting. It was so gross, dude. There's but it was nothing like... grosser, honestly, than a drunk guy, to be honest. Like, oh, dude, no way. A, a guy that comes up to you and is like, hey, how are you doing? You're so fucking hot. I want to have sex with you. And it's like, ew. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. All the respect goes out the window. Yeah, dude. Nothing will make even my dick softer than that. <laughs> yeah, you know? right? Yeah, I hate drunk dudes, man. Drunk They're just really... It's not even that they're drunk. I respect a drunk dude who's like, let's have a good time. Yeah, yeah. But like a There's dude a who's like the creepiness of a drunk dude. Yeah, ew. Nothing will make me like softer, bro. No, it's so sad to when see. When they're like drooling. You yeah, know, it's okay, like, no. Dude, come on, man. No respect. You know? But, I mean, chicks... I mean, drunk girls are annoying. Yeah. And the... the uh, I don't know what the um, word is for the audio, octical or octanes or something. I don't know. I'm an octaves. idiot. Octaves yeah. of a girl's voice. Yeah. The the levels it can reach when she's drunk and mm -hmm. she's like screeching is so obnoxious. And I've done it before myself and it's so annoying. But mm -hmm. I don't think uh, I think I guess girls can get embarrassing, but I think. Yeah. It, I think it depends. It's a little like, different with the guys. Because I'm not a sober dude per se. Mm -hmm. I say I'm sober, but every once in a blue moon, you know, I'll go out. And when I do go out, I am going to like ruin my life. You oh, know what perfect. I mean? Like, yeah. I'm not the type of dude, like, I'll Sounds never. Sounds healthy. Yeah, I'll never. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I have to let loose. Dude, I have to let loose every once Letting once. loose is ruining my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I will say I have been to bars sober. Yeah. Because most of the time I'm not drinking. Yeah. And it is the most depressing thing in the world. Is it? To be around, like, to be surrounded by drunk people when you're sober is, like, almost insane in my mind. Yeah. You know? But if you're on the same level, it's it's a good time, man. It is. You know? a, I mean, it depends on the people you're with. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I just, I've maybe, no, I think it's more of, like, a later in life thing. I just can't drink with people I don't like, yeah. you know? Or you get, like, like kind of bitchy or... Not bitchy. I just get bored. I'm like, what are we yeah. talking? Like, if I can't have a conversation with you, like, I don't like to go to, like, clubs where I can't talk to people. I like to, like, have fun mm. and talk and, like, mingle. And that's, like, my idea of drunk yeah. situation. Yeah. But then it's, like, I can't just, like, go out and drink with anybody. Are we talking, like, a club type setting? Like, you're dropping moves? Or are we talking, like, a casual, like, dive bar where you're, like, I just kind of want to talk? You like know. dive bar or okay. I can, it can even get a little more upscale than that, but just not. I can't do the clubs anymore. <laughs> yeah, the dude. clubs are insane. Yeah. It gets sad, man. It's so sad. And yeah. it's like we're all standing in a circle. When I first moved to New York, I, I like roomed with this like hot girl or like whatever. And she and her hot friends were like so boring. And I would go out with them sometimes and they would just stand in a circle do nothing, not talk because it was so loud, yeah. and then, like, take Instagram videos, like, ah, we're having so much fun. And it was just, like, 
I'm like, this is such a sad life. Like, mm. I want to kill myself. Yeah. Being with you guys. I feel that, yeah. What are you trying to do, though, when you go out? Like, what's it? <clears throat> Man, I mean, I don't really go out that much. But when I do, I just want to go out, like, with my friends and or, like, with a hot guy or something, yeah, yeah. you know? Hot guys are a great motivator to do anything. You're just fucking ready, dude. <laughs> I'm ready. You're in yeah. the zone. Because, yeah. like, that, them being there is just enough. Like, Whoa. they don't even have yeah. to say anything. Yeah. No. Fuck, dude. I, I can, I can um, appreciate from afar, you know? Dude, that's what I, yeah. <laughs> I can't, dude. You can't? I miss that, man. You know? How do you, like, just, are you dating? Do you, Are you dating anyone? <sighs> I should probably be honest with you, dude. What? No. Not even. I can't even. <laughs> I can't even pretend, dude. Like, you know. Do you ever pretend? I'm trying not to get sad, bro. But it's like. Oh, don't get sad. <clears throat> no, like I don't want to be like self-deprecating. But yeah, dude, I haven't. Uh, I don't think I've texted a girl in like six months. Besides, like my mom, dude. You know. <laughs> so like every That's day, I'm just waking okay. up to like texts from my mom, and you know. But I know that I'm not. I'm not really trying. You know, I'm not putting out, bro. And uh, I've You're been only saying this. You're trying with your mom. Yeah, that's you know she matters, bro. She so, does matter. <clears throat> yeah, I uh, I'm just trying to stay positive, bro. <laughs> just stay positive. Yeah, don't kill yourself today. Yeah, but I'm not I'm not putting out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Not I'm not. Out. I haven't hit on a chick in like a year. You know? Yeah, that's the thing. If you don't, you know. <clears throat> I am getting kind of tired of doing this podcast and constantly telling people that I'm spanking and playing Xbox. Oh, you know? whoa! But it is the truth, bro you know wow it, the truth comes out yeah this is like a tell all and people episode. are like bro people are like dude you can put out man like you can go out and get something good and i'm like bro i don't know man you know i don't know if i believe in myself enough dude he, this is the issue with guys in 2023 no one believes in themselves like all <sighs> these guys are on the apps and i'm like you guys don't have to be on the apps just just talk to someone and like yeah maybe <clears throat> they say no but then there's so many other girls that would say yeah. yes you want to hear something sad dude <laughs> yeah dude. yeah keep going i went on the apps bro didn't get a match dude i get straight up disrespected every single time i go on the apps yeah. and it's like i didn't know i was fucking ugly as shit like that's what it, dude like, the apps are so insane i will never download now dude i'm gonna be honest i had it for like five days okay yeah but that was enough for me that you was know? enough that was enough dude yeah i was like this isn't who i am these chicks fucking suck dude i have never met a normal person that i i mean i've i've met a couple guys that like i'll have like a thing with or even like spent like <clears throat> I dated a guy for like two months last summer, but like we were never supposed to. Yeah. Can you describe meet. him a little bit for me so I can like paint a picture? Um, <laughs> he was hot. Yeah. Th this is this is why I hung out on. He was he was the only hot guy that has ever liked me on Hinge. Okay. And I will say he looked like a cross between like James Franco and like um who else? He looked like gay James Franco, basically. That's pretty hot hot same personality like a little off the grid no i mean his personality that that was the thing was so bad and mm. so unfunny and so boring that i had to be drunk for like two months to hang out with him like wow if i was hammered i would we would have a great time it's really sad man I know. <laughs> I know and i was like i have to get like of all the years of doing the apps like i have to find at least one person that i don't hate yeah and I couldn't do it. So it's like, why do we keep on trying? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I got dumped about a year ago. Yeah. And I've been dumped uh, every time I've been in a relationship. So <laughs> I'm getting fried out there, dude. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, I don't dude, even know if I can go for back. For the same reason? No, no, no. Different reasons. Oh, that's good. We won't get into it because I'll just fucking start crying. No, I'm just kidding. But it's like, <laughs> I just kind of want to put that in the past. Yeah. And not. How many relationships uh, have you had? Two. Okay, I've only had one. So. Yeah, yeah, one was pretty long term, and that was that was a good relationship. One was shorter term, and that was the most recent one. And I just want to forget about that one, and just yeah, I just yeah. want to put that, just pretend like it never happened, yeah. dude, and just you know. <clears throat> but after I got dumped, there was like a depression period, you know, where I'm listening to like Avril Lavigne and I'm fucking drinking a bunch of shit, <laughs> <laughs> fucking That's crying great. myself wow. to sleep at night, yeah. dude, and just like you know, feeling your feelings. And then I was like, you know what, dude? 
you gotta fucking my boys were like bro you gotta get out there dude you know like you, you gotta, gotta get out there. you gotta shred it dude you know bring back the old johnny salami dude i was like bro i'm watching fucking motivational videos and shit dude. oh that's good that's so i go good. on the apps and i did get one match and okay. it was this girl who was very hot whoa and she hits me up and she's like talking about comedy and stuff because that was like okay. most of my pictures and she goes yeah you know like i'm a writer for john mulaney and i was like wait what like john mulaney is a stand-up like <laughs> so initially i was like wait what What's, does he have a new show or something and i didn't really ask many questions but she was like yeah we're boys like me and john mulaney and i'm crushing it with this chick dude like we're vibing i've never vibed that hard with a chick in my life i'm texting her <laughs> all day dude and i go hey you want to get a drink and she's like I thought you'd never ask, blah, blah, blah. Dude, I go into Brooklyn. I meet her at this restaurant. We're shooting the shit, whatever. You know, she's making fun of me for looking like... Oh, she's like, real? Yeah. Dude, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like an imaginary I thought shit. I thought it was going to like turn out to be like a man or oh, something. Oh, no, 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 dude. Okay. You're going to want to hear this, bro. Okay. This sums up my life, dude. So I go, I meet her at the bar, super hot, like Whoa. eight, nine, maybe. I don't know. My, for my standard, like a 10. Yeah. I'm like, this is like a make-a-wish, dude. <laughs> So we're at the bar and we're just like talking and she's like, yeah, you know, like you're really like, <laughs> she's like, you're really like weird, like in a good way. She's like, you know, like I see like why you do comedy now and stuff like that. And I'm like, we're like busting each other's balls. She's like, yeah, I'm from Philadelphia. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm like, do you want to go to this barcade and like play games and stuff? And she was like, fuck yeah, dude. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like we'll go play some games. <laughs> dude, we're walking to the barcade. And she just out of the blue just goes, yeah, I think I'm going to go home. And I was like, I was like, I'm sorry. Like, whatever I did, I was like, I know I'm kind of like a weird dude. Like, I didn't mean to be like, whatever I did, I'm sorry. And she was like, no, no, no. Like, it's not you. I promise. And I was like, no, no, I get it. Like, you wouldn't admit it. It's fine. I totally get it. Like, I've been here before. She was like, I promise it's not you. So I'm like walking away like super sad, dude. She runs up to me, starts making out with me never been so confused in my life i'm like what is going on right now makes dude. out with me hops in her uber <clears throat> dude i go home my mind is like blowing up i'm like what the fuck is going on so like i waited a few days and then i text her again i was like hey what's up no answer wait a few days hey what's up no answer i'm like all right she definitely felt bad for me bro <clears throat> maybe three weeks later i get a long text a series of very long texts she goes, hey, it's her. She goes, hey, listen, like, I'm sorry. I know you probably don't want to talk to me right now. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is going on, dude? <laughs> she goes, Fucking psycho. She goes, that night I wasn't feeling well, so I decided I was going to go home. <clears throat> she goes, I go, listen, like, I get it. Like, you don't have to, like, make up excuses. She goes, no, no, no. Like, I wasn't feeling well. I went home and I got rushed to the hospital. She was like, I had a tumor in my brain. I had to get rushed into like emergency surgery and get the tumor removed. And I, at this point, I'm like, okay, like, are you insane? Like, you don't have to make this stuff up. And then she sent me two pictures of her in the hospital bed, dude. Completely shaved head, bro. Like, head's completely shaved. You can see like the massive incision. I was like, yo, what the fuck, dude? Dude, <laughs> actually had the surgery i was like yo i was like i'm so sorry like are you okay and stuff and she was like yeah you know like it's not serious or anything i just had to get the tumor removed they think i should be okay and like in my head i'm like oh dude you got this bro like keep going man like never give up <laughs> never <laughs> give up bro so this is how it ended bro yeah. we're texting <clears throat> and i'm like dude you got this you got this bro like even if she has a shaved head like it's fine she's chill man <laughs> <laughs> Even if she's a little ugly, you can get that'll past make me, it. That'll make me more of a man, dude, <laughs> to hang out with a chick with a shaved head. Yeah. You know? And uh, this is, like, really sad. She goes, uh, hey, I think it's a good time to let you know that I'm bisexual. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, this is word for word what I said. I go, oh, okay, that's cool. I, I heard girls are better at eating box anyway. Not even that funny, dude. I send the text. That just sounds honest. I send the text, bro. She texts back. She goes, hey, I don't think we should do this anymore. Never talk to me again, bro. After all that? Yeah, dude. <laughs> it, was, it was That is 
so insane. crazy. Insane. Dude, it was wild. Though. I would never touch an app <laughs> again. Dude. That is crazy. Bro, this was after the breakup, too. Like, I was like, it took so much nuts to just go out there and just shred it, you know, just believe in myself. And then that happened. I was like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> When I got those pictures, wow. I was like, dude, you're on Shutter Island right now, man. Like, there's no way, you know? Yeah. Wow. But, How? Yeah. And even her, like, here's, and <laughs> I, I have, it's taken so long for me to learn these lessons, but like the second that someone d does something weird for the first time, yeah. that's, that's the ultimate red flag. Oh, that yeah. That's gonna. It's not gonna go. One like the red flag whole, and you're out. Or are you you still grinding through it? No, I think for everyone. <clears throat> like once yeah. you get that weird feeling, like when she, um, said I gotta go home, and then she ran back and made out with you. Like that was, that was the sign. Yeah. That it's not gonna go great from there. Yeah. And I think a lot of people, including myself, I'll be I'll like give people the benefit of the doubt and be like, oh, you know, yeah. maybe she just really had to go home but like people really tell you who they are like early on yeah it's hard to like listen to those signs you know dude you always see them too and you're like just always. keep going yeah, man. <laughs> <I know. You're laughs> like, man she got this brain tumor out just keep going yeah, <laughs> yeah. and now That's now crazy. dude if i ever talk to a chick again man the first red flag i'm like i gotta fucking i'm good you know or depending on what it is what it is because it's, it's like you know, like I had a guy recently from an app, like we were tech, we were like going back and forth on the app, and I was like, oh, like good conversation, and then he asked me for my number, and then yeah. I text him, and he has read receipts on, and then he read it, and then he never responded. Oh wow! And then I was like, okay, well, I don't know him, so who cares? And and then that Friday, like five days go by mm -hmm. friday it's 6 p.m i'm getting my nails done and he texts me hey sorry um i just have been really busy do you want to go on a date like in an hour and i said no like what the fuck my time you get to just like text me out of nowhere yeah. i was like why did you why did you like try to ghost me and he's like no, I was just being, I was just like nervous because I was trying to play hard to get because you're really pretty and blah, blah, blah. And like he kept on apologizing, apologizing, apologizing. And I was like, whatever, I'll just like get a free drink and I'll leave. Yeah. Because like, fuck this. Wait, guy. how long was it from the read receipt to when he responded? Five days. Okay. I thought you said 24 hours. Oh, no. Like, oh. <laughs> damn, yeah, bro. damn. I'm a Five I'm a days cunt. is a long time, <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, yeah, five days. Yeah, no, five. I mean, that's such a red flag already. Yeah, like, yeah. he's he's just up to something, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then <clears throat> I went on the date, and then we ended up dating for two months, and it was, like, horrible. Yeah. I mean, horrible. what you said about being drunk, dude. <sighs> yeah. You know? Like you could only communicate with them when you were drunk. Uh, yeah, that's not a great sign. Yeah, <laughs> and you know you can feel it on, the, and that's why <clears throat> dating sucks because you can feel it. The first feeling you get of like it's not gonna work out, and you're like, but I just spent all this time and yeah. energy, and you want it to work out, and then you just fucking waste your time. Yeah, dude, it's always like you kind of know right off the bat, especially if you have like good instincts. And yeah. you kind of know what's going to happen, but you're yeah. like, you know what? Fuck it, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. You know? It's so sad. And I'm going to be honest, dude. Like, I'm a dude. Like, Oh, whoa. I didn't know I that. don't know if you knew that, but. Um, Crazy. Thought, dude. I thought you were a lesbian this whole time. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, no one understands that, like, dude, tits are, like, a superpower. Yeah? You know what I mean? What? It, how do you mean? Like, dude, you could be, like the worst chick in the world but have a you know, great set if you of have tits. a set of fucking bean bags bro bean bags you are like you don't even know it's like a hot dude you know what i mean like he could be he could have mm. the shittiest personality mm. but if he looks like fucking clark kent dude he's got dude. you know mm -hmm. he's got a way with women bro okay so if you have is it like you you got a set of heavies in your set or does it do depending on like the guy you are like i'm a tits guy you know what i mean but if uh, mm. like but they have to be big <clears throat> no 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 just like a nice set of like nice set nice tits dude what's nice tits get into it <sighs> dude i thought you'd never <laughs> ask <bro. laughs> i mean not too big not Any too big anything over like a double d 
is, you know, they're going to sag, bro, and you're going to get, like, some back problems, you know? You don't want to with be, back problems. They have to be taken care of, you know, like yeah. your kids. Yeah. <laughs> and they got to be soft, dude. They got to be know? soft. At least a so little bit soft. you don't like fake boobs. I hate fake boobs, dude. Hate? Yeah. Do you know every time? I've never touched them, but oh, I see really? them on I see them on like porn videos, and I'm like, no way, I'm not watching. Okay, this. those are those are like really bad fake boobs. I don't know, man. Like how? Because it's not, it's not actually, even that they're fake, dude. It's if you told me they're fake, I'd be like, I can't, because that's all I'm gonna be thinking about. I'd be like, these aren't even real tits, dude. <laughs> you, don't e- you don't even have tits. Like, what if a guy was like, yeah, I used to have a chode, but then I, you know, now I have a normal sized fake penis. Would you be like, okay? I mean, if it looked real. <laughs> Hey. Even if he told you, like that wouldn't be like going through your mind. No, I mean, because <clears throat> it's like, who cares about the past? You know, like <laughs> let's let's just work with reality. Yeah. The reality is, you got a six incher, you know, yeah. and it looks gr- if it looks great and it feels great, who cares? Six incher, dude, that's fucking. Yeah, that's crazy. That's Honestly, legit. I'm not like. I don't I I feel like uh, like all these like young women are like oh I want a big dick like that's that's kind of crazy that's a lot oh why would you want that I don't know and like that's why I don't understand I don't understand the well I think that's a part of the fascination like with really tall like how all these girls want these tall ass dudes and it's I think it's tall I mean if you're tall and you're hot that's awesome but like it's also a lot of my friends are with tall fucking guys that are so ugly. Oh, really? And I'm like, like fucking birds. Yeah, <laughs> they're always birds, dude. What do you What do you mean by like birds? They got the fucking like they the look beak. birds, or like they just have like a very small. And I'm not saying everyone has to be attractive. They just have like a very small head for such like a large body. And you're like, are you not? Are we just like not looking at the face anymore? Yeah, which is fine if you can date someone for their body. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I mean, dude, like, that was cool back in the day, you know, like, the whole looks thing, like, looking at tits and being like, dude, because, like, I would, like, I had a girlfriend who was, like, a huge bitch, but she had (laughs) the nicest tits, dude, and I'd be like, you know what? (laughs) You know what? (laughs) Just hang on, man, (laughs) you know, because that's all, like. Maybe you are wrong. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe I am wrong. Maybe the tits are right. My bad. Yeah. I mean, dude, if you want to have an honest conversation, like, that's what, you know, at that age. But now I'm kind of past that where I'm like, like, back in the, like, there are still dudes to this day who are like, this girl sucks, dude. Like, this girl's a bitch, but she's hot, so I'm going to, yeah. you know? I, yeah. I and I don't want to be that guy, dude. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, I, that's good. That's I'm respectful. Mat- I'm fucking mature, dude. I'm fucking, <laughs> you're, a, you're a little man, dude. Dude. I'm a fucking grown man. Bro. You're a grown man. But yeah, I don't. I feel like guys have a higher threshold for um, hanging out with a person, like a girl that sucks, but then still like hooking up with her, dating her, just because she's hot. Like I, yeah. I cannot. I can't even hook up with anyone I don't like truly have like a connection with. Yeah, and I just haven't had like. I've never really talked to a girl where, like, I've really had that connection where it's like, I'm enjoying, you know, like. I'm enjoying this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> like an emotion, like a, I've never been in a relationship like that. <clears throat> They've all been kind of like. It. Where, like, I, I want to talk to you, you know. <laughs> Dude, why? I'm just being honest, bro. That's so funny. It's sad, bro. It's not. You no, know, that's hilarious. You've because never it's been like. Around. I don't know, man. You know, it's just like you can't force chemistry, bro. Like it just kind of happens. And that's why I'm always like, dude, am I gay? Because like <laughs> <laughs> there are so many dudes that I talk to and I'm like, bro, this was a good conversation, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I just want a girl where I can just be like, you can have that like sexual aspect, but also be like, yo, this is like my best friend, dude. You know, it's uh-huh. like a best friend type thing. Totally. You know? Yeah. I think, um, I think there's just like you just might have standards which is good and I feel but like it's it sucks because like I I feel like I'm a similar way where I don't I really don't vibe with everyone like on a like Mm. chemistry level and then when I do find it's like every one to two years I'll meet someone that I really fucking vibe with that's a good 
dude, that's a good fucking estimate. It's yeah. always like it's always one to two years. Man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. And it's yeah. hard because you're like, once you find that person, you're like, you can't leave. Yeah. <laughs> you can't leave. You're like, dude, no one else no likes one, you. Yeah, <laughs> no one. Like, if you leave, I I can't be attracted to anyone else. It's just, yeah. it's really hard because then you see people who have dated girls or guys their entire life been in relationship after relationship after relationship and you're like dude i wish i had such a low level of standards like you so i could get along with everybody i mean dude my standards right now are like they've always kind of been like solid fives you know well like not hot wise but just like personality personality wise wise, yeah. yeah it's very hard to find like a hot chick who is uh like has a good personality you know, <laughs> like, yeah, they're very rare to find. And when you do find them, they're usually in relationships. Yeah. You know, it's like finding it's the same thing as finding like a hot dude who's like a good dude. You know what I mean? The key is, I think they had to have grown up ugly or in like South Dakota or something, you know, where yeah. like they have been humbled mm. in some aspect of their yeah. life and they weren't grown up being told that they are beautiful. Yeah. I don't know how it happened. I have my best friend, Jamie. um, She lives in California. She's one of the most um, beautiful people I've ever met. Um, Like she's stunning and she's so funny. And I'm like, how did this happen? Like you are so cool. Even when I first met her, I was like, this girl's going to be a cunt. You know, she's too pretty. She's too pretty. Yeah. yeah. And she was so cool. And she immediately wanted to be my friend. I was like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Why are you like this? She's like a rare specimen. Dude. Rare specimen. I mean, she's had a... I think it's because she's like her... I don't know. I think she told me that like growing up, her mom, she... Because <laughs> everyone would come up to her and tell her that she's really pretty, like other people. Yeah. And her mom would be like, you're not that pretty. <laughs> wow. Her mom would like fucking Humbly, knock yeah, her yeah. down and be Just like... tear you go apart? Well, kind of in a way, but she'd be like that's not important it's important if you're smart it's important if you're kind being beautiful doesn't mean anything like that's kind of it's kind of brutal but like i think that's the only way you can do it yeah i mean dude fuck man i went to a show recently i did a spot at this show and it was like one of the most like fun times i've had doing a set and then there were so many hot chicks there dude (laughs) and then afterwards i'm like hanging out in the back you know just hanging out by myself and this girl came up to me who was like so beautiful dude wow. i was like she started walking towards me and i was like fuck 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 dude you <laughs> no, know no 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 <laughs> you know i'm wearing my polo dude i'm just staring out the window i look like a fucking you retard look like bro. lenny <laughs> dude she came up to me and she was like oh my god like i loved your set so much and i was like oh thank you that was it dude i fucking panicked and then she left bro and then these dudes were like these comics were like yo man we're going to a bar down the road like you should come and i was like all right man cool you know i show up to this bar with my polo and stuff and there are so many hot chicks there dude (laughs) just waiting for dudes to talk to them like you can tell they're just standing there and they're like i hope someone talks to me tonight and that girl was there and dude i talked to two dudes the whole night Bro, Bro, what are you doing? I don't know, man. You know, but in my head, I was like, listen, man, if you want me to be honest, bro, just (laughs) an honest conversation, I was like, bro, you just talked about farts and tits and how awkward you are on stage, man. You're wearing an oversized polo, like you're a weird guy. I was like, dude, don't do this to that chick. I was like, listen, like, don't. This won't benefit her at no. all. That that's what was going on in my head. I was like, dude, you know what, man? Just don't Don't be your worst enemy. Come I on. dude, I was just being like, dude, do I really want to ruin this chick's life? You know what I mean? Because of your polo? Come no, on. No, no, it's because of like who I am, you know no. what I mean? I don't know, dude. That's just how I feel I think like about a lot it. of guys like think like that. And it yeah. really gets in the way. Like I've dated a couple guys that are just, you know, not like relationship relationship but like dated a couple guys that they're obviously like insecure Mm -hmm. and i'm like i like you like you're great i think you're great and they just completely like call it off because they just can't they like hate themselves yeah i just feel like a dude like 
if you're going to be in a relationship, bro, like you got to be like a decent boyfriend. You know what I mean? Like you, you gotta, can be though. I don't know, dude. I don't know if I can balance that with like Xbox and stuff. Oh, <laughs> no. Like I just feel like with comedy and everything, like, you know, like we're both like, I think the right person will fit. Yeah. I think that's what it is, man. You got to find the right person where like both can gel. But yeah. at, like chasing a comedian type lifestyle, like you got to have like the perfect vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you'll never find it if you don't try it. I feel yeah. like you and I've done this myself where you like knock yourself out of the game because you're trying you're like imagining the future and you're being like, well, that won't work and that won't work. But it's like you don't you have no idea until. Yeah. You know, you just like give it a shot. And then if it doesn't work, it doesn't have to work. And it's no big deal. I've heard that. I've heard that before. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how it always starts, bro. It's like, dude, you just got to try it, man. Like, nothing will change, man. And then nothing will change if it doesn't dude, change. Dude, six months later, you're fucking crying it's, to Matchbox 20, dude. And it's just like, yeah, and it's no bit like it's truly we build up this idea that like if something doesn't work, it's going to be the worst thing ever. Yeah. If you have to call it quits, it's no big deal because yeah. then you still have comedy and you're still doing your shit and you're still busy. But like, yeah. whatever. Yeah, I should have uh I should have at least like asked her like a little bit about herself. But like I will say there's been times where like a guy who is just like absolutely gorgeous, he like they've talked to me before mm. and I shut down and I act like I oh, hate dude. them. I'm like, "Why are you going?" We're away? talking like tens, right? Like <laughs> Yeah, I mean like Greek I mean just gods, like dude, dude yeah. there was this one guy I met in the nail salon. He was just he w he was visiting his sister. And his sister was like finishing up getting her nails done. Oh, okay. And I was sitting waiting to get my nails done. Yeah. And this dude was like my like dream guy. Can you can you paint a picture for me? Like burly, like like Superman stature. <sighs> Looks like he just came out of fucking South Dakota. Fucking okay. P He's doing P90X and shit. P90X. <clears throat> he was fishing earlier that day. You know, maybe, maybe built a fire at some point. Wow, okay. Dude like big beard long hair just fu like a fucking man wow. you know i'm kind of hard right now dude. <laughs> it was so hot and he was sitting next to me and he's trying to talk to me and like start up conversation and i just i just couldn't even look at you him just shut down completely i was like he was like so um he's like oh are you waiting on someone too and i was like no and he was like oh like, like do you live in the city i was like no was, so he was like visibly like trying to yeah yeah and, Fuck, I, man. and i was like no this is a big mistake for you oh <laughs> dude exactly yeah. what you just did it sucks it's it's easy to think about it but when it happens you're like dude i'm fucking panicking you're like fuck <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh no especially when it's like a super hot chick. you're like fuck 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 yeah you, know? you you have no idea how the world perceives you so it, i guess it's best to just pretend like you're fucking awesome yeah dude confidence is like a huge thing man like even dudes were just like like you said just believing in yourself like i think girls really want that they want a dude who's like oh for sure like a warrior type mindset where it's like yo if shit hits the fan i fucking got you dude I, yeah <laughs> man yeah you know but then it's like i don't know i think girls need to stop with like the whole like because like you do want like a warrior type dude you don't want like some soft dude who's gonna be like a pussy you know what i mean so I, mean, I think I we guess. need that. I think we need to bring that back, you know, like the warrior mindset. For sure. I mean, yeah. like, what? I that's the thing, and that's the other thing about tall guys. Like, girls like tall guys because they'll like protect them. But like, are they working out? Are they? Can they yeah. even throw a punch? Like, how how are they going to protect you? Like, they're going to just squash the other guy. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, dude. If you're if you're <laughs> if your man's not training, how how is dude, he going to protect? Especially you? like when you get married and you have infants, bro. <laughs> you have those infants? I can't even imagine being a woman having kids. Like, I'm going to want a dude who can fucking launch an RPG, dude. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I want to know that I'm, like, safe. Like, I have, like, these two little kids. Like, I don't want some fucking dude who's going to talk about his feelings when shit hits the fan. Yeah. You know? Be like, no, I'm having an anxiety attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Someone's God. Someone's breaking in the house. Yeah. Hold on. Let me call my therapist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, dude, what the fuck? I gotta, I gotta five, th five things and ground myself before, <laughs> before I get into this. Yeah. Five steps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I am. Um, I am like, dude. I am fucking. 
like my whole life I've played sports and I've had like a very manly aspect to me. Yeah. And once that vanished, I just, I was like, fuck man, you know? Like your confidence went away? Like, dude, I played three sports in high school. I played sports in college. And then after college, I was like, dude, who the fuck am I? Like, yeah. you know? And then you start to get a little soft and you're like, fuck man. Yeah. You know? Dude, I used to play rugby in college, bro. Oh, cool. And I would just be like, I would feel like a fucking Greek god after those games, man. Dude, rugby is so cool. Dude, it's, if I was a chick, I would be fucking spanking a rugby, dude. I watch rugby, like, reels, like, uh, that's on my For You page. I oh, think wow. it's the hottest thing I've ever it seen. It is, dude. And all the chicks that <laughs> go is. are just men. Like, Wait, they're what? just other rugby players. Like, <laughs> <laughs> All the chicks that go to rugby games are men. I used to play rugby, and I'd be like, where are the hotties at, bro? And dude, they would always be on the soccer field. Like, fuck soccer, mm, dude. Honestly, I mean, soccer is cool, but, like, rugby, that's where, like, the hottest guys are. That's what I'm saying, dude. And every party was just, like, dudes, you know? <laughs> I used to be in love with this girl. I don't know if you've ever had a gym crush, dude. Gym crush, okay. But, dude, she was at the party... And she was trying to get into the party, and she was with, like, a bunch of girls. And these dudes on the rugby team were like, hey, man, you want to go up to the roof and drink? And I was like, okay. Like, what do you mean the roof? And they were like, legit the roof. Like, we're going to drink on the roof. And I was like, all right, man. You know, I was, like, super cocked. And I remember I was so drunk, I was pissing off of the roof mm -hmm. onto this girl who I had a crush on. Dude. Bro. Dude. And all I heard was... Is it raining? <laughs> dude. And I will, dude, I will never forget. Oh, my God. Bro. Wow. They, they looked up. No. And they saw me pissing on them. And I had to go to the gym and, like, see that girl for the rest of the year. Wow. It was, dude, it was bad. Did she have any, like, inclination that you liked her at all? I saw her in the party. She goes, you just pissed on me. And I was like, no, I didn't. She was like, yes, you did. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, and then... Did you apologize? Yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, and she was like, whatever. <laughs> like, it wasn't, it wasn't good, man. It was not Whoa, good. Whoa. But I just so remember funny. her being like, is that raining? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so... Bad luck. Out of all the places she could have been standing, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough go, man. Especially when you're trying to get into a party. Like, it's probably, like, one of the last things... You want to happen, you know, to get pissed on. Oh, for sure. And and then the guy doesn't really apologize. I mean, you, you apologize, but you're yeah, like, Yeah, I was pretty oh. drunk, so I was kind of like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> if anything, I... was I... probably like, it's just piss. Like, <laughs> It's <on>. just... <clears throat> I'm healthy. Yeah. I do miss, like... You ever miss, like, that fucking... That, like, younger love feeling, though, dude? You know? Like, what did you do in the Midwest when you were younger where you were, like, you know, like, what were your hobbies growing up? In the Midwest? I mean, like... I'm talking, like, middle school, oh, dude. Oh, middle like, school? Dude, middle school, we would, like, go to my friend's house, and we'd go, we'd do, like, pool, like, swim in yeah. the pool, or we would make, like, these, like, at the... It would snow a lot in Chicago, and then... um the people who would live on cul-de-sacs, we'd make these, like, igloos, and then okay. we'd, like, crawl through them. And Hell yeah, dude. It was a lot of, like, riding, like, four-wheelers and playing in snow. So you're, like, a... Are you, like, a country chick, kind of? Um, You know, I guess, I guess so. I mean, my... Uh, in some aspect, I am. My, my mom's side is from southern Illinois, which is, okay. like where she's from is like right above Tennessee. And so it's, it's very like, it's very country. Like, yeah, they like guns and God and barbecue. Do you, you ever know? like, <clears throat> not to be negative, but do you ever think about like, cause I feel like people in the Midwest, like they kind of live like a simple life, yeah. you know? And you hear about people like, I'll hear about dudes who have like hot wives and kids and they're living in this <laughs> massive house, dude. And like, yeah. they're just enjoying life. Like, do you ever think about that? I never, th I, I've known for like my entire life that I would never be okay with just that life. Like I, yeah. 
I had, I always know, have known I've had to do something more. Like I would, I'm down to like one day get married and one day have kids and yeah. things like that and have that life. But yeah. I have, I can't just meet someone and then that be my life. Yeah. yeah. You know, it would just like eat you alive. Yeah. And like, you know, everyone from Chicago, they, they love Chicago. They stay in Chicago. They die in Chicago. And it's like, that's that's cool that they love that i wish i mean this i mean being a comic is so fucking exhausting this is not <laughs> it's very exhausting and i yeah. wish i could just be cool with you know meeting the first guy i fall in love with and then mm. marrying him and then just having kids like it that would be so, so easy, easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah i wish but like i was I was so depressed when I lived in Chicago. I was oh, like, really? this place. Yeah, because I felt like trapped. I was like, I need to mm -hmm. do more. You know, I can't just do this. But. Yeah, no, I felt the same exact way, dude. It seems like that is like the case in most like places, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's like people who stay and then there's people who leave, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah it, it is the people who stay and the people yeah. who leave. And I go back and I'm just like, bro, I've lost so many great men you know what <laughs> yeah. i mean like yeah so many just dudes you used to have a good time with you know and now they're like in relationships and you're like dude that looks like it sucks bro you know relationships are like married um like both but I it's mean, like you're in a small town so like i mean they, i can't even imagine just going to a restaurant every weekend Imagine if that was your weekend. You're like, which restaurant do you want to go to this weekend? Yeah, out of you know? the three ones we are we always go to. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you just yeah. Over time, you just find your people. And if, like it, it's a bummer when your people aren't your people anymore. But then yeah. you find new people that you. It's just life, dude. Yeah, you just have to accept it. I just have a hard time <laughs> accepting that. I'm like, I know. I'm like, dude, do you remember when we used to light our farts on fire, bro? I know. And they're like, dude, that was ten years ago. But there <laughs> are people that will light their farts on fire today yeah. in New York. I just have to go out you, and get it, dude. You have to go <laughs> out and get it. You're right, dude. There's they're, always they're an there. answer, man. Yeah. There's always an answer, bro. You just got to find him. Yeah. But I heard Chicago is kind of like when I was in Boston, people used to mention Chicago and they would be like, yeah, dude, Chicago is filled with like solid fives. Uh, like women? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. I mean, when I go to Boston, if we're talking about Boston, I'm an 89 in Boston. What that is that? 89 out of what? 10. Okay. I 8.9? No, like I... I like a oh, 90 like literally like out of 10 okay i'm an 89 like that is how ugly that fucking city is okay really bro i mean for where'd women you, where'd you go just anywhere in boston like uh -huh. i i mean not that I, at the same time i wouldn't say the guys in boston are particular they're just it's i mean it's just like like millions of shades of white you know it's just like it is very white that it's is white true. but it's also like the same type of guy it's like all yeah, yeah. tom brady's mm. and then in chicago it's kind of the same it's like the guys are they're fine but they're all kind of mid okay i would yeah, say I, I just heard about the solid fives i was like i gotta get out there dude solid go. fives you want to get out there for the fives just go fishing dude yeah <laughs> okay you like a five <coughs> I mean, I don't know, dude, you know, at this point, I, I've said that for a while <laughs> and I'm just like, I've said I'm not that talking, for a while. To, I'm not talking to anyone, dude. Yeah. Like I'm not talking, you know, so like, I feel like when you're not talking to anyone, you kind of just go, you know what, man, solid five, bro. solid five, or just like whoever you, know? you, you meet, who you meet. <clears throat> yeah. I could meet a fucking 10 soon, dude. And just crush it, man. Dude, I saw yesterday, I saw like like the hottest guy ever like mm -hmm. i i had to double take he was just he was so fucking hot with such a like not she wasn't ugly but she was so normal yeah. so basic and that mm -hmm. gave me hope i was like yeah this is possible i don't know how i wanted to be like how did you find this person 
I wanted yeah. to ask questions, ask but questions, yeah. I just stared intensely. Yeah, you see that a lot, dude. I mm-hmm. see that a lot. Of, I see a lot of dudes with like big ass tits and like oh, well, pounds of body hair, and they're with like a, an attractive woman. And I'm like, dude, anything's possible, man. Yeah, that's <clears throat> that's a lot of New York, though, be just because there's like way more women than there are men here. Yeah, I don't know why everyone feels so like. She feels like a lot of girls are like materialistic around here. Like they're like, yo, I want a dude with a fucking Ferrari. Who has a 401k that's crazy who's gonna buy mommy dinner you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. and it's like fuck man yeah you know i don't think i'm that level it just it it's always nice if a guy has a job mm. but like if we vibe you don't technically need a job but it's yeah. also like are you motivated are yeah. you are you working towards something that's important yeah are you confident? Are you, you know, do you have your shit to... I can't be with a fucking bum. Yeah, that would like, be kind of romantic, though, dude. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> like, if, like, you just loved his personality so much... So much. That you were like, yo, it doesn't even matter. The, it doesn't even matter. Dude, that would be a good love story, man. Just a waste of space, <laughs> but so fun. Oh, <laughs> as long as he's fun, bro, you know? Yeah, <clears throat> that is true. Yeah. What would even be, like... What would even be fun, though, dude? You know? I don't know. I mean, I I think now it's actually it it just is way more important to me that you have that someone has something that they're interested in besides yeah. like just drinking. You said like you don't really go on adventures though. Um or you just need someone to like plan it for you. Yeah, I, or I just need someone to like like think of it and like want to do it or else I'll just get stuck like working all the time or like doing comedy all the time. Like I'm not yeah. I'm never thinking like, "Oh, I should take a break and like go to the beach but then there are people yeah. who are like who think about those things so i yeah. just need someone what that about like legitimate adventures though do like going on a hike yeah i love that you know fuck yeah dude yeah i'll do it i just need someone to remind me like hey you can go on a hike okay you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need that like moral support yeah, yeah 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 to like i feel that have the motivation yeah you know it sucks when like you want to do fun things and everyone just like wants to drink and you're like dude let's go fucking, no yeah let's go smell some trees dude you know let's oh go get God, out there bro trees. fucking dude i miss fishing bro fish you know? yeah i miss all that stuff but yeah you're right dude if you don't have someone to be like yo let's do it it's like what the fuck am i doing yeah it's hard you know? to like have that vo- motivation to just do it by yourself yeah that's true and comedy just takes over everything, but I do enjoy. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. We haven't talked about comedy at all. I just fucking hate talking about comedy. Oh yeah, you know, like oh. I, you know. Okay. Yeah, let's not talk. Fuck comedy. I just feel like you know, <laughs> it's kind of boring to talk about. You know. Yeah. Like it's cool, but it's like you know, I just feel bad because you like you are a comedian, and I didn't even say that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, Everyone's this yeah. random girl. Like who is this? Chick? <laughs> <laughs> we just met on the street. Um, yeah, I am a comic. But, you, do, um, you, do you enjoy like talking about com- like, is that something I, you bring up? I mean, I don't necessarily try to bring it up, but I can talk about comedy forever. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I love talking about like bits and uh-huh. just like, I don't know everything about it. Um, cause you do have drama, like, a, uh, love it. Oh, really? You know? Love, love when like drama's going on that like I'm not involved in. You, just you can just watch. Yeah. I love that. That's Ugh. interesting, dude. It's the best. Damn, like what type of like stuff? Like, or like you know, like it's it's essentially real life. Um, like when you watch like reality TV shows mm-hmm. and you're like, all oh, this drama is happening. It's like it's, like it's kind of like that. Like yeah. it's just like entertainment, I guess. Yeah, that is kind of. I used to shit on entertainment. I'd be like, this is fucking fake. And now I'm like, dude, entertainment's the shit. It's like, not. I think it keeps everyone healthier because oh, yeah. you're not being that toxic person and like bringing it in your own life yeah it's just entertaining it's yeah like, yeah at least i'm entertained i'm not bored you know yeah what I mean? you yeah know? i'd rather be entertained than be like complaining about it you know complaining about it or like gossiping or like spreading shit or like talking like hey yeah. or whatever and i mean everyone likes to talk shit but um mm-hmm. not I mean, you shouldn't do it on a large scale. Yeah. That's I mean, insane. dude, but we sh- I should say, like, you are very funny. Like, Oh, know. thank you. I'm not just saying that. Like, dude, your jokes <laughs> are, like, very funny, you know? Oh, thank That's you. That's why I had you on the podcast from the beginning. You know what I mean? Oh, cool. Thanks. I was like, wow, these are very funny jokes. Like, <laughs> this chick is funny. You know, it's just, 
Thank you. See what happens. Let's see what happens. Because you have like, a, I don't know, you have like a, not a dry sense of humor, but like you keeping a straight face is like very funny to me. You know Thank what I mean? You. So. Thanks, dude. Um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's mainly out of like uh, nerves. <clears throat> I, when I get very nervous, I get very, the more uh, nervous I am, the more deadpan I get. So that's kind of how that started. And then yeah, it's hilarious, dude. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty deadpan too. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> like, yeah, so, yeah, I can tell. Yeah, but there's like certain things that I struggle. I don't know, man. Like, I think about this a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, we haven't talked about this, but like, I kind of look deadpan. But there are certain things that'll make me like cry laughing. Yeah. I don't know if you have that. Yeah, like, for are there sure. certain things that kind of like trigger your giggle system? Yeah, like I have like a really goofy side <clears throat> that I can tap into. Yeah. And sometimes and I mean, honestly, like the best sets I have, if I get too deadpan, like I will bomb. Oh, and really? Yeah, 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 like it's not that's not totally like my vibe. But if I'm able to go in and out of like super silly and then deadpan, like it's my perfect set. Yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah, I get sad when like. I, get <laughs> I keep saying that, dude. What the <laughs> fuck? I think you're sad. Yeah, dude. You got to get some cordyceps. No, nah, dude. I just need someone to be silly with, bro. Because there is like that, I don't know, man. Like, you remember have sli like having sleepovers when you were younger and like yeah. everyone would kind of get silly? Yeah. Like, I have that side to me. I just need it to come out more, you know? Yeah. But I just miss those days, man, you know, where like everyone kind of got like a little silly. You know, I guess yeah. you kind of like calm that down as you get older, but it's like... You yeah, know. that's true. I I don't know. You just got to find someone that like matches your silly yeah, yeah. level, <laughs> I guess. You know? What? No, I don't know. I just brought up farts. I'm thinking about like farting in front of you. Like how funny it would be to just see you like keep a straight face. Like well, your reaction would be so funny, dude. I mean, if it smelled, it, it would yeah. be a pretty negative reaction. What about the sound though? Um, if someone farts in public and it's like really quiet, are you someone that's gonna like keep a straight face or are you if it smells bad, no. Like I don't okay. I think the funniest time farts have been for me is like when you're in like, like a long term relationship and then you fart on them and okay. that's like the funniest thing yeah. to me that could ever happen. Because okay. then they're like <laughs> <laughs> it's like their reaction and their horror and you're like oops and it's so yeah i don't know why relationship farts are like the funniest well it's, i think it's the horror that's involved like <laughs> you don't really like want the other person to laugh yeah you yeah. just like want to see people like disturbed and then yeah. you're like this is funny yeah <clears throat> and because like you love them and yeah. because they'll get like upset but then like they'll laugh and then it's like a fun time yeah dude some guy got murdered what? He, uh, this dude farted on his wife's head and she stabbed him to death. Are you serious? No joke, dude. Like, legit, it, like, happened. Where did <clears throat> it happen? I think it was in Florida. Oh, my God. So, like, that would be funny Was to it see. warranted? Like, did she get in trouble for that? It was unsolicited, dude. You know, he just came out Damn. of nowhere, dude. But, like, if someone <clears throat> farts on you, are you, is that, like, self-defense? For you to I stab mean, dude, them? if someone farts on your head, yeah, you got to see it coming, dude. What you if know? she was sleeping? I don't know, dude. I, it doesn't happen that fast. You know, you don't just take out a knife. Like, it definitely happened, and she was like, I cannot believe you just did that, and she just fucking lost it, dude. That's crazy. He probably felt like he was at that point in the relationship, though, where he was like, I can finally do this. Dude, they, she had to, the, the fart had to be the tipping point. It couldn't yeah. have just been like. Oh, you think it was? No, I think it was a buildup. And then she's yeah. like, if you fart on my head, <laughs> I'm going to fucking knife the shit out of wow. you. And yeah. he was like, no, you won't. And then he oh, did it. Shit. And she was like, you're dead. Yeah. I told you. I agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're fucking dead. Yeah. Dude, Florida is amazing. I was, I was born in Florida. My, a lot of my family's from Florida. My dad's side. And I always thought, like, growing up, I was like, I'm going to live in Florida. Really? I'm going to, this is my, this is my place. And I can't believe how wrong I was. It is not my place. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think not. it's anyone's place, dude. I mean, I, it's beautiful. And, like, my family lives in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, and okay. it's, like, lovely. Yeah. But it's also, like, now it, it's so overcrowded. It's crazy. When you drive anywhere, you think you're going to die immediately because everyone's yeah. driving like crazy i mean it's really hard to like just the people 
in that area, it's like everyone's so like racist in not like a funny way like just like real racist yeah i can only be there for like three days before i'm like i got it yeah yeah, this is crazy i didn't even know that dude yeah like you'll you'll hear the n-word all the time holy shit all the time and you're just like how can you just can we stop yeah it's uncomfortable it's really it's really bad um and like anything could happen too dude like in an open area you know like crazy shit happens in new york city in like a closed area Mm -hmm. dude i can't even imagine seeing something crazy happen in like a like an open field or something well the thing is so like whenever i go down there there's like the everglades you know that part of florida so it's like there's a lot of good fishing Uh and um it's like swamp area and that's like the creepiest part of florida oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. where all the fucking dead bodies are dude dead bodies the weirdos the the people who fart on their husbands and get yeah, stabbed that's like where they hang like out that. dude. that's where they hang <laughs> out and like one time there's a lot of reservations r- around there and me and my dad were down there and we go into this reservation and um it's like fully packed restaurant yeah and we ask to like sit for lunch mm-hmm. <laughs> and and they're like sorry we're closed and I was like, and my dad like didn't understand. He's like, oh really? It seems like you're like serving people. And I was like, dad, no, they're closed for us. We gotta leave because we were the only white people in there. Oh wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, and so they like refused to serve us. And wow, dude. I mean, rightfully so, but like, because you know, white people murdered. Dude, all that their is. Ancestors. I've never even thought about that i didn't even know that was going on down there yeah i i mean you think about like mississippi or something like yeah that kind of makes sense but yeah. i didn't even know florida bro yeah yeah native <clears throat> americans don't fuck around down there fuck man i can't you know i'll stay away from there then dude yeah but i w- eventually we did find a place and i ate some gator yeah it was good fried gator wow dude you felt like you got some gains after that i think so i yeah. think i was stronger it's always like the with the weird shit yeah you, you know? get that honestly it it just like not to be cliche it didn't actually just taste like chicken and um it was pretty good fuck yeah dude i would do it again have you ever heard of someone getting like eaten by a gator um no nobody like personal it's so crazy my my nona's or my grandma's neighbor got ate by a gator just last casually time I was there she was there was a gator sighting and then um she was walking her two dogs uh-huh. and they say i guess her two dogs got close to the water and she was trying to save her dogs yeah and then gator jumped out of the water and just fucking and he he ate her holy shit dude. he ate her and then they had to like kill the gator and they like pulled the body outside of its stomach holy fuck dude you know what i think about a lot like when i think of florida is like fucking in-ground pools dude like imagine having a pool party and some fucking fat dude's like all excited to hop in the pool and he like jumps off the diving board and there's a gator in there waiting for him Dude, oh. to see that in real time, oh. holy shit, dude. I if he's a fat dude, too, that would be wild, you know? I wonder if he would survive. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. What would you do, man? Like, you're at you a pool party, really like, the anything. vibes are high, you know, it's a party. You're like, yo, let's get it. I think the, the rule of thumb is once a gator, like, has their jaw locked on you, yeah. I think... I think. Then they do that roll, dude. I think you're done. You think so? Yeah, I think the only way you could you could save them is like if you shot the gator with mm, a gun just start blind firing at the pool yeah <laughs> <laughs> open fire <laughs> you kill everyone at the pool party you're like hold on guys i got this <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no uh, that would be so funny dude lame is yeah yeah um, what a wild what a wild area it's a wild world man but i mean dude um should probably wrap this up oh yeah we've been we've been crushing it dude crushing this it one, this one great dude i really appreciate you for yeah. coming dude it means a lot thank you for commenting down in the car too dude you know yeah that was a very nice view um at this point usually we just like promote anything that you want to share oh, okay so i mean i know you said you have your new podcast and stuff oh yeah so. i have a i have a new podcast that's coming out um september 25th <laughs> it's called el diablo the podcast um it's gonna be fun uh and uh yeah i'm also doing my half hour for new york comedy fest 
um, November 4th. So you should come out if you live in New York. Uh, that the tickets will be in my bio on my Instagram. That's underscore L Orlando underscore. So Hell yeah, dude. Come out. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.